Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Medita, and today we're going secondhand book shopping, which is my favorite activity ever. I love secondhand books. I like the smell of red books. I like the yellow pages. It's so homey and warm and comfortable. And yeah, maybe a little bit of water damage. I just like looking at used books. And I'm going there today with Vanessa, which is very exciting because she's never been there and I wanted to show her this bookstore. So I hope she really likes it. I'm going there with a the goal to find some German thrillers because I've been really into thrillers recently. I want to read Five Survive. Yeah? You want to come in? Hi. Do you want to do a fit check? I'm very Yeah, looks so today. good. All styled by Clara. I'm coming to the kitchen in one second. You make, you make breakfast already. Guess I have to hurry up now. It's okay. Anyways, I'm also bringing my earmuffs, like always. It's cold out. It's freezing. We gotta keep our ears protected. Then we have headphones. Money. Because the last time I was there, I couldn't buy any books. Because why? Yeah, I didn't know the store only takes cash. So I wanted to cry. So today I'm not gonna cry because I'm gonna bring cash because I'm smart like that. And I'm bringing the book I'm currently reading because I want to get a really fancy coffee at the coffee shop and sit there and have a fun day with Vanessa. So I'm going to bring a book and it's called Modern Times. I'm halfway through the book already. It's a collection of short stories. And yes, what you're seeing on the cover. Yes, this is not a mistake. It's supposed to portray exactly what you're thinking it is. Okay, Dirty Mind. There's a collection of short stories and maybe I'm too dumb for this book, but I don't really understand what they're about. I'm a bit confused, I would like to say. I'm still highlighting some quotes here and there because some of them are still pretty interesting. Like, I've never loved a woman, but in an instant, I too felt the loss of a woman I had once loved. How can that be? How can a heart be made sore by that which it did not know? Don't understand, but sounds kind of interesting if you know what I mean. We have to take the underground because Vanessa doesn't have a bike. Do you know how sad that is? I always bike. I've been telling her to get a bike for a year and she hasn't gotten one. On you back. Come on, my friends. We're getting dressed. We're wearing our beautiful coats because we'd rather look pretty than comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> then, then... we'll freeze because we can look pretty. You know, looking back at this, I'm pretty sure I'm sick today because I decided to not wear a warm coat. Good job, Medita. You know, actions have consequences, but I'm guessing I'm too dumb to understand that not wearing a warm coat when it's literally below freezing outside. Why? Why, Medita? Why? I can't go to Switzerland because of this now. Good job. <gasps> I love it. Okay, wait. Let's go. It's a bit cold, but we got this. Right, Vanessa? Look at this bookstore. I mean, come on. If there's one bookstore I would ever work at, it's this one. It's so beautiful. It's my love. I love it here. It's so beautiful. It smells so nice. And every book is so cheap. Everything is such a steal. Every book is below $5 because it's always half off. And, you know, German books in general cost like $10, I would say. I, I love this store so much. I wish I could live here, okay? Sally, that's illegal. But, you know, maybe one day I'll just sneak in overnight. Don't, you know, that's a joke, okay? Don't take me too serious. Anyways, I love this store. I found Finale, which is one of my favorite, you know, fantasy books. It's the Caraval trilogy by Stephanie Garber. Sadly, I was still a bit confused about where all the thrillers were because there's a few tables in the beginning of the store because it's just so freaking big, okay? It's so big. But I wanted to find the actual crime section and then I decided to look up onto the ceiling and apparently I was not smart enough for that before. But yeah, there's a giant shield with the word crimmy on it. Right in front of my eyes, I just decided not to look there. Anyways, I found Tourist here, which is a book I've been wanting to read for so long. They just have everything, okay? I could spend every single hour of the day in here. If you like secondhand book shopping and you live where I live, go to this store. You're gonna find stuff. And actually, a girl recognized me and it was so cute. We talked for a little while and she was so sweet and so kind. And then we started talking about which books we love. And she said she saw me in this store before because of my Instagram pictures. And I was like, what? That's so cute. Anyways, afterwards, we decided to go to this secondhand clothing store that I didn't know existed right next door. And Vanessa said, mm, no, let's go in here. And it was such a good idea because I found so much stuff. I've never found these many clothing items in one store just because, you know, body dysmorphia. I struggle with finding clothes and I found so many. I'm so proud of myself, honestly. My therapy worked. Then we decided to go to Story Bikes and I got a vanilla soy latte and then we had to go back home because it was already pretty late in the day. Yeah. We're back home, everyone. And I'm out of breath. I'm 
so exhausted. Today was so much fun. I bought so many books. I'm not even kidding. And then I also went thrifting with Vanessa and I got so much stuff. So I think today's not only a thrifting books vlog, but also a thrifting clothes vlog. Just a thrifting vlog. I love it. So let me show you the book first, because this is what you're all here for. You're not really here for the clothes. I bought six thrillers, one classic and one fairy tale collection. So I got, this is a German like classic. It's called uh, Liebesgeschichten. So it's just like, it's just short love stories by Selma Lagerlöf. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow, I'm excited for this. I'm very excited to read these. I love little short love stories, so that's gonna be fun. Then I got this um, collection of Swedish fairy tales for $4.95. It's got a giant sticker on here, I'm gonna remove it. But I think the cover is beautiful and I love fairy tales. I mean, my name is literally inspired, my username by fairy tales, like Madi Tales, as in Medita plus fairy tales. Then I got here six different thrillers and two of them are English actually. Literally so confusing. Let me start with the English ones. I got this one called Sister, and it's basically about this girl called Beatrice whose little sister goes missing, and everyone is very confused about where she went and what happened, and everyone believes that Tessa is dead and cannot be found again, but Beatrice doesn't want to give up, and she embarks on a dangerous journey to discover the truth no matter at the cost. That literally sounds so good. I'm so freaking excited to read this. The second English book I got is called Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. It's a kidnapping and murder mystery story about girls in a small town. So basically, 20 years ago, Claire's eldest sister, Julia, went missing and it was never solved if it's a cold case. No one has ever found her. I know, scary. But now another girl has disappeared and the case is very similar to Julia's disappearance from 20 years ago. So Claire, the sister, is trying to figure out if they were may be taken by the same person or if the same thing happened to them she's confronted with a shocking discovery and nothing will ever be the same so excited to read this that sounds literally so good and then i have four german thrillers i bought sweet girl first this is about 16 year old percy who finds a half frozen baby in the middle of nowhere basically people are trying to find out why the baby was left in the middle of nowhere in snow half frozen and there are some drug dealing involved there's a lot of like just scary stuff involved so i'm very excited to read this um then i got this literal called tag der buse which means day of the actually don't know buse this is about the honeymoon fate vacation after a marriage where detective Pete just wanted to, you know, have fun time with his new wife, Rena. Yet, all of a sudden, a teenager goes missing. Now they're trying to find out what happened to the kid. This one's kind of exciting. And honestly, the cover is why I bought this because there's cards on here and guess what loves playing cards? Me! Then I got this book called Todesstiche. There's a wasp on here. This sounds so cool. Anyways, so basically the story is about the mother. So Jennifer, the mother, finds out that her daughter just got arrested because they think that she, a man in her apartment, and she obviously believes that her daughter could never do this. So she travels to Spain where her daughter was arrested and she's trying to get Emma out of jail. Yet the story starts to get confusing and she starts doubting that Emma actually didn't do it. And she's confused who Emma is protecting or if she did it herself. Sounds very exciting. I'm so excited to see this mother-daughter relationship in this book, so yeah. And then last but not least, I got this book called What Happened Then or what, what Happened in the Past. This book is about this little baby called Chelsea who was found in a crib and she was the only one out of four to be alive while three bodies of grown-up people were lying down in the stairs in the kitchen and everyone is confused how Chelsea survived. 25 years later, a young woman named Libby gets a uh, confusing letter because she apparently is now going to inherit the house where all of this happened. And as soon as she arrives there, she has a feeling that she isn't alone in this house. So I'm feeling this is some mystery, maybe even a bit of a fantasy thriller book and I'm very excited to see how this goes. And I think the cover is also very beautiful. Those are all the books I got and and I'm so happy that they were all so cheap, I would say. I'm so excited. This one looks brand new. What is this? Anyways, that's my book haul. And now let's go to the clothes. I didn't even know that this thrift store existed. Vanessa actually introduced me to it. So I got a few things there and I'm so excited to show you because I'm actually so proud of myself for finding clothes because I have quite the struggle to find new clothes just because I'm very uncomfortable with my body. So finding these was actually really nice. I got a pair of Levi's jeans. I got the 501. Then I got this blue chaps 
sweater. Honestly, I really like this color. Then I got this, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, I got this polo sweater, this blue one, it's cropped and it looked really nice, honestly. And then I got this polo sweater in gray, which is just long too. And then I got this Tommy Hilfiger sweater with this pattern on top. I really like these. Usually I wore these a lot when I was younger. So yeah, I'm going to try them on and show them to you all really quickly. If you can't see my head. Well, you can't see it. Anyways, these are the jeans. They're like, I'm pretty sure straight leg. That's what they're called. I like them. They're a bit long, but then again, I like that. So these are the jeans. Very nice in my opinion. I don't have a lot of jeans, so that's nice. And then I got this blue sweater, right? This is what it looks like. It's just very big and comfortable. I love it. What? It's so nice. Okay, sweater two is this polo one and it's cropped. It is also really nice. Really long arms. <laughs> I don't know how to exp I don't know how to do clothing hauls. Top two. <laughs> Let's do top three. This is top three. It's the very basic gray sweater. I love it too. They're so comfortable. I love sweaters like this. And yeah. Okay, let's do the last one. Love it. It's a bit thinner, but it's blue too. I've been going in on a blue theme and it's nice too. Hi everyone. So I thought I was going to finish the vlog, but no, Vanessa just told me we're going to the movie, to the drive-in movie cinema. So I'm not finishing the vlog yet. We're going to do more. <laughs> you know, I'm finishing my Modern Times book with the, you know, on the cover, the member on the cover. Anyways, and then I have to edit and then we're going to go to the movie cinema. That's so oh God, exciting. I'm so excited. So I finished Modern Times. I think I'm too dumb for this book. Fully honestly, I don't think this is for my mental capacity. I'm so confused, okay? Like, I do not know what happened. I don't even know what to rate this book because I'm just so confused. I, like, I don't know. It could be a five star because it's so smart and I'm just like not smart enough. Or it could be a two star because I am disgusted, okay? There were so many weird stories in here. I don't even understand the story that is on the cover. I don't understand it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought my brain would get really smart while reading this, but overall, I'm just confused. Yeah, it was still interesting to read and I couldn't put it down because I was so disturbed. Has anyone read this? Please tell me because no one has read this that I know. Ugh, I'm doing that for this stuff. <sighs> it's okay, I'm gonna read something fun now, I think. Wow, Vanessa! Why would you read this? You made me. <gasps> the gasp anyways i'm reading this too <laughs> this is a reread it's my favorite book from the series because i was first gonna read a thriller but then i thought no let me join uh, vanessa in reading the series and you know what i'm excited for this book because i've liked it every single time so far so <clears throat> let's go read we're leaving for the cinema and we have a bag full of blankets because we're gonna be freezing we have to walk to my parents place now and get the car what a fun Oh, it's so cold out. Oh my lordy lord. Let's walk as fast as we can. Let's not die and crash. I totally am the best driver on this planet. Yeah. Oh my god. This is gonna be a fun ride. Okay, cool. We're here. We're gonna watch the scary movie in the car cinema. Vanessa, are you ready for this? Yes. Me too. I'm so excited. We got the goods. Nachos, popcorn, and Vanessa. <laughs> I'm so happy we took the big car. Yeah, it looks, it looks a lot safer than the small yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I need to get my coke first. <laughs> Vanessa, <laughs> you're squeezing me in. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes good. Oh, there's people coming to watch this now I'm filming. I'm going to start watching the movie now. Good. Let's hope there's no car scene. Oh my god. I'm so excited, Vanessa. Thank you for having this great idea. Today was a great day. I Today was great a great idea. I don't like any of this. This is so scary. Can we go quick, please? The movie is fun, but I'm literally freezing my butt off. I don't know why not. Vanessa isn't wearing a jacket. I'm so cold right now. How was the movie, Vanessa, for you? Um, not <laughs> as creepy as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a bit more creepy. It was more just weird, especially the dancing of the doll. I don't wanna get out of the car. Everyone, look what a ride! This is so funny. Why is it only arriving now? I got a fairy loot package and I'm pretty sure I know what this is. So let me unpack it. <sighs> it is what I think it is. I'm so happy. These are the special editions of fairy loot for the inheritance games. I know. <gasps> Oh, 
that looks really nice. Edges. And now let's look at all the books separately. So this is The Inheritance Games in red. The quote is, she came from nothing, they had everything, let the games begin. Let's take off the dust jacket. <gasps> ah! Oh my god, this looks so cute. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of art on here, that's so nice. Oh, and here's the character art. These are all the four brothers. Look at that! That makes me so happy. <gasps> She looks so good. Look at the castle. Book two is the brown one called the Hawthorne Legacy. It looks like this. And the quote on the back is, a deadly game, a puzzle to solve, a fortune at stake. Oh! <gasps> so we have these art pieces here and let's see the inside. So this is Jameson and Avery playing golf. Oh, Avery and Grayson. And this is book three, the final game with the green one. This is the prettiest one, 100%. Look at that. And the quote on the back is, riddles upon riddles, secrets upon secrets, winner takes all. Wow. Okay, wait, that's the art. So pretty. And then the artwork is, oh my God, James looks so good. And Grayson too. And look at Avery. <gasps> oh, this is my favorite one. Avery in front of a chessboard. That is so cute. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was the perfect end to this day. How was this day so good? I'm so confused. I'm gonna end the video on this great note because I'm not gonna jinx my look. Um, thank you everybody for watching this daily vlog, I would say. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can do a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, you can subscribe. I hope you all have a great day, evening, night, and morning, whatever time zone. Are you enjoying yourself? Go read a book. Read any of the thrillers I thrifted. Um, yeah, again, have a great day. Happy reading and see you next time.